Hello students and hello everyone. This is teacher Angel and welcome back to our accounting online video lessons. This is still a continuation of our lesson in financial liabilities and debt restructuring. For today, our lesson will be on the convertible bonds. So what are convertible bonds? Convertible bonds are bonds that give the holder an option to convert the bonds into bond issuers' equity securities. An entity recognizes separately the components of a financial instrument that creates a financial liability of the entity and grants an option to the holder of the instrument to convert it into an equity instrument of the entity. What happens here is that diba, when we issue the bonds, we are the ones borrowing from another entity. So our, um, our role in the transaction is the borrower. On the other hand, sa PICAS na side or sa other party, sila ang lender in terms of the substance but in form it is recorded as an investment if there is an option to convert the bonds into the bond issuers equity securities this means that ang investment nagi hold ni bondholder or ni uh, lender makon pwede siya makonvert into shares of stocks what happens if the exercise ni bondholder bondholder slash the the lender slash the investor what if the exercise niya ang option to convert so pag the exercise niya then the investment will be converted into ownership of equity securities so from bonds, mahimo siyang investment in shares of stocks. From a lender or from an investor in bonds, mahimo na siyang investor in shares and therefore na anasay ownership sa ako ang company wherein di ba ang ako ang personality ato is ako ang borrower. So na anasay ownership of shares in my company if the bondholder will exercise the option to convert the bonds into shares of stocks again ako ang borrower ako ang my liability towards the bondholder remember the bondholder is the lender or the investor investor in bonds so if the bonds that I issued is a convertible bonds. So there is an option in the bonds wherein the bondholder can convert it into shares of stocks. So from being a lender or from being an investor in bonds, ma change na ang nature siyang investment into ownership of shares of stocks. So therefore, mahimo siyang shareholder. He becomes a shareholder in my company and not only a mere lender or a mere investor in bonds. So on my side, sa akong entity, I will recognize separately the liability and the grants that give the option to the holder to convert the bonds into equity instruments so the total proceeds should be allocated to both the bonds and the conversion option using the residual approach furthermore the following are the accounting treatment of possible transaction involving the conversion option so in the issuance of the bonds how do we allocate the proceeds so appropriate allocation is performed as follows so first is to identify how much is the proceeds pila man tong ato ang 
consideration received. So this is our asset. And then we deduct the fair value of the bonds payable. And this is the liability. And the remaining amount after deducting the fair value of the bonds payable will be the amount that will be assigned to the conversion option which represents the equity. So to record the issuance of the bonds, we debit cash. Kali ba i-issue man natin ang bonds uh, na ay mo acquire ana ang uh, other party. Then credit bonds payable at face amount and if ever uh, gamay ang consideration na na-receive, so there's a discount on bonds payable. On the other hand, if mas dako ang cash na na-receive kumpara sa face amount sa bonds, then credit premium on bonds payable. So, dili sila magdungan ha. So, depende sa case. Remember nga, discount siya. Diba? Discount. Okay, discount if the proceeds is lesser than the this amount and there is a premium if the proceeds is greater than the face amount so therefore you will record this one if this situation happens and you will record this premium if this situation happens and as mentioned earlier you have to separate the account for the grants that allow for the conversion so that would be recorded as share premium conversion privilege now let's go to the retirement of the convertible bonds anyway there will be an example later on on the um issue ones of the convertible bonds so here we have the process on how we are going to uh, retire the bonds but before the process so we have to identify first the items that are important in the accounting for the retirement of convertible bonds they are kind of similar with the retirement of the an ordinary nga bond but um na may additional lang nga uh, take note so first is what if we retire the convertible bonds prior to the date of maturity so we have to determine the retirement price then also the retirement price applicable to liability which is the which should be the present value of the bonds using the current rate and the difference between the retirement price and the retirement price applicable to liability will be recognized as a change allocated to equity so if it is an increase then that is recognizes a share premium if there is a decrease then that is charged on the share premium conversion privilege and any excess if any to retain earnings okay meanwhile the difference between the ret retirement price applicable to liability and the carrying amount of the bonds on the date of maturity is recognized as gain or loss on extinguishment of bonds which will be part of the profit or loss for the period then what if we retire the convertible bonds on the maturity date there will be no problem because the settlement price and the carrying amount uh, are the same therefore there's no gain or loss to be recognized and then the share premium conversion privilege may be transferred to general share premium which is uh, classified or re recorded as excess over par so the procedures in the retirement are as follows so the same with the retirement of a regular or ordinary bonds you have to compute the updated carrying amount as of the date of the retirement meaning you have to compute the amortization up to the date of retirement so that our carrying amount will also be up to date if we have the carrying amount we're going to deduct that from the fair value of the bonds to get the gain or loss on retirement 
So the difference again will depend on the, the, the gain, uh, identifying it as gain or a loss will depend on the uh, which amount is greater diba? between the two. Okay. So there will be no gain or loss on retirement of bonds on maturity. Next is compute for the increase or decrease in equity using this formula, the fair value of the bonds and retirement price applicable to principal. So you get the difference. It's an increase if positive, decrease um, if, if it is negative. So this is allocated to equity. Alternatively, the change in the equity may be computed as follows. You have decrease in uh, share premium conversion privilege, decrease in retained earnings if applicable, increase in share pr premium excess over par if any, and that would be your total increase or decrease allocated to equity. Step 4 is record the transaction. So first is, kani, i, i, mo siya ang present good sa entry, you have to close the bonds payable at face amount. Then you credit the cash retirement. This is your retirement price, how much you paid for. And then if na ay existing a premium on bonds which has a credit balance, imo siyang i-debit. Okay, as premium on bonds. But it's not um it will not be uh, the case nga na ay premium og na apo siya discount kay only one naman na siya. It's either na siya premium or na siya discount. So, kung premium ang yung existing na balance, so, credit balance mo ng premium, so, to close, you're going to debit the premium. On the other hand, kung discount siya nga transaction, discount po tang i-close. So, diba, debit balance man si discount, so, to close that, you have to credit the discount. So, kanin siya ha, depende ni siya kung unsay nasa problem o na siya nga if applicable. So, dili good nga butangan gini mo debit to premium and you we will also put discount on the credit side because it depends kung unsa man iyang transaction premium ba siya or discount the same goes with the loss on retirement and the gain on retirement dili siya magdungan ha usa ra good only one if it's a loss then loss ang debit if it's a gain gain ang credit so dili pwedeng nga magdungan sila na ay loss na apoy gain Okay. Then debit the share premium conversion privilege. I debit gini siya di ba kay kauban man ni siya. This is this was issued together with the bonds. So credit man siya pag ni Agi. So you're going to close this one share premium conversion privilege. After recording these, so kung ang balancing figure niya na sa debit side. Then you are going to charge that against the retained earnings. On the other hand, kung ang balancing figure na sa credit side, ang imuhang i credit share premium excess over par. Okay? So, not necessarily nga magdungan gina sila. Depende kung asa ang balancing figure, depende kung asa man ang existing, whether premium or discount or loss na siya or gain. So, PS32 states that on the conversion of a convertible instrument, the entity derecognizes the liability component and recognizes it as equity. So, diba, the liability nato will become shares of stock. So, i issue nato ang shares. So, from liability, i convert nato siya into equity. The original equity component remains as equity although it may be transferred from one line item with equity to another. Furthermore, the conversion shall not be accounted for as debt for equity swap in compliance with the requirements of IFRIC 19. So, dili daw na siya treat as debt for equity but a conversion. Okay? It change from uh, liability exchange siya into equity. There are two types of conversion of bonds. Pwedeng regular conversion 
or it could be an induced conversion. What is a regular conversion? There's no gain or loss on conversion that will be recognized. Meanwhile, in the induced conversion, loss on conversion may be recognized but not gain on conversion. Okay, so what would be the accounting treatment for a regular conversion? So if the conversion happens on or prior to date of maturity, so whether sayo or pwede po siyang on the dot sa iyahang maturity date, same, uh, same gap on ang items nga consider. First is you have to get the carrying amount of bonds on the date of maturity. And you also need to get the par or the stated value of the share capital issued. So if the sum of carrying amount and conversion privilege is greater than the par or the stated value, the difference is recognized as an increase in share premium. So if the carrying amount DAO together with the uh, conversion privilege is greater than okay the par value par of share capital so this is the increase is share premium so share premium ang recording if otherwise if bali okay if the carrying amount plus the conversion privilege is lesser than the par of the share capital then there is a discount on share capital and this will be collected from the new shareholder okay what will be the procedures again you need to update the carrying amount of bonds by updating the amortization so you have to uh, compute properly the carrying amount of the bonds Next is record the transaction. Close first the bonds payable. Can you see? Mandatory yun na siya. And then, you have to close the share premium converse, conversion privilege. Kay, i-convert naman siya. Mag-exercise naman. Then, credit. Okay, credit the retirement price. Okay. And, do not forget to close the related premium or discount of the bonds. So, kung premium ang yahang uh, na recognize upon the initial niyang uh, measurement, so i close ni mo ang premium by debiting it. Because the normal balance of premium is credit. So, by debiting it, ma close. Kung ang existing po niya kay discount, so, since the discount is debit balance, so close ni mo ang discount. So, again, dili na siya magdungan nga ang premium, mag-debit ka premium, mag-credit mag sa daog discount, only one. Kaya kung sa naman po ang iyahang scheme, di ba? Kung premium siya, so premium mong i-close. Kung discount siya, discount sa ang i-close. If the balancing figure is on the debit side, then you're going to debit discount on share capital. But uh, if the balancing figure is found uh, on the credit side, then you're going to credit share premium excess over par. That is for a regular conversion. How about the induced conversion? So the debtor enterprise shall recognize an expense equal to the fair value of all securities and other consideration transferred in the transaction in excess of the fair value of securities issuable pursuant to the original conversion terms the fair value of the securities or other consideration shall be measured as of the date the inducement offer is accepted by the convertible debt holder. Normally, this will be the date that the debtor holder, debt holder converts the convertible debt into equity securities or enters into a binding agreement to do so. In accordance with paragraph 
AG.35 of PAS 32, an entity may amend terms of a convertible instrument to induce early conversion, for example, by offering a more favorable conversion ratio or paying other additional consideration in the event of conversion before a specified date. The difference at the date the terms are amended between the fair value of the consideration the holder receives on conversion of the instrument under the revised terms and the fair value of the consideration the holder would have re received under the original terms is recognized as a loss in profit or loss. So, tas taas kayo siya no nga um, standard ang provide here. But later on, uh, it will be more clarified when it is applied in the problem. So, para mas madali, so we have to take note of the following items when we are accounting for induced conversion. So, what will be computed first is you compute the debt conversion expense. So, what you mentioned di ba? Pag paragraph form siya, so, lisod kayo na siya. Um, at depende po, naman po ilisuran, naman po ilisuran. Pero, mas dali yun siya pag i-organize siya into uh, simpler terms or it is presented in a simpler format such as a presentation of a formula. Okay? So, fair value of the shares converted and deduct the fair value of shares under original conversion from the fair value of shares converted to get the debt conversion expense or the loss on induced conversion. Remember, uh, a while ago, diba, mentioned tonga uh, you will recognize loss on the induced conversion but not gain. Next is, get the fair value of the shares converted. Okay, so this is the formula in order for us to compute this debt conversion expense. So how do we compute the fair value of the shares converted? You have the face amount of debt securities converted divided by the new conversion price. You will get the number of shares issued upon conversion and multiply it by the fair value of shares on the conversion date. Then to get this fair value of shares under original conversions, so we have here the formula. So you have face amount of debt securities converted divided by the old conversion price. So ganiha new kanisha old. So you will get number of shares issued under original conversion multiplied by the fair value of shares on the conversion date. So Ang difference sa sa duha, kanin silang duha, is katong uh, gidivide nga conversion price. ba? So, kanin sa imuhang uh, item here, sa katong converted, fair value of shares converted, new conversion price ang gamit. Sa so, fair value of shares under original conversion, ang gamit kay old conversion price. Alternatively, loss may be computed as follows. So, shares to be issued amended, which is equal to the face value divided by new conversion price, minus shares to be issued original, that's face value over old conversion price. So, you will get the incremental shares to be issued multiplied by the, by the market price of share capital at amendment, amendment date. So, you will get debt conversion expense or loss due to induced conversion. Basically, uh, this formula is combining duha. Okay. So, the new conversion price should be lower than the old conversion price so that the bondholder will be encouraged or induced to convert their bonds. This will result to a loss due to induced conversion but not gain on induced conversion. Next, we have the conversion of non-convertible bonds. So, this is now what we call as the debt for equity swap. Diba gani ha? Katong um, convertible bonds, nga conversion, ni remind to siya nga, this is not a debt for equity swap. Uh, primarily because the bonds that were issued are really convertible shares. So, from its substance na liability, himuon siyang equity. Lahing nga case, pagitawag nga debt for equity. 
So conversion of non-convertible bonds, okay, non-convertible bonds, kaganiya convertible bonds mo to siya. The conversion of non-convertible bonds is within the scope of IFRIC 19. Accordingly, the debtor should measure equity instruments issued to the creditor at fair value unless fair value is not reliably determinable, in which case equity instruments issued are measured at fair value of the liability extinguished. The debtor recognizes in the profit or loss the difference between the carrying amount of the financial liability or part extinguished and the measurement of the equity instruments issued okay so we will have examples and more elaborations later on so let's go first to the examples for convertible and non-convertible bonds so on january 1 2021 bohol company converted its five thousand 1,000 pesos face value. So, pag itotal na siya, 5,000 times 1,000, that's 5 million. 12% bonds payable with carrying amount of 5,248,634. So, the carrying amount here is greater than the face amount. So, most likely, when this was issued, there was a... Uh, premium except if there are other items that were included in the price diba mo increase yung hang carrying amount so this is uh the carrying amount as of the time it was converted so premium ni siya kay mas dako man siya kaysa sa uh face amount so during that time nga nag convert the carrying amount was 5,248,634. Pag convert niya, you convert siya into 100,000 ordinary shares with par value of 50. The fair value of the bonds on the date of retirement is 5,400,000. What would be the required entries on the date of conversion? For case 1, assume that the bonds are convertible and the share premium from conversion option is 180,000. Case 2 is what if the bonds are non-convertible, therefore this is a debt for equity swap. So for the first requirement, okay, so what would be the entry? Close the bonds, okay, so kanisha mandatory yun ni dapat yun di close the bonds. And then close any related premium or discount. So, ingon ako gani ha, mas tako man sa, mas tako man ang carrying amount kaysa sa face amount. So, na ay premium. So, pila may premium, katong difference ani nila, 5 million and 5 million 248,634. So, the premium is, uh, sorry, 248,634. Okay, premium kanin siya. Premium on bonds, payable. Kailangan lang gina siyang i-close. Then, ingon diri that the premium from conversion option, the share premium from conversion option was 180,000, i-close po na siya. Kaya kung maklose na si bonds payable, niya kanin kay nag-uban-uban man ni siya, apilon po na siya o close. Then, credit ordinary shares, issue the shares, so sa itong ingon, 100,000, multiply it by the par value of 50. So, that's 5 million. Okay? And then, credit share premium how much is a share premium so money siya ang iyahang balancing figure 428,634 walay gain or loss if it's a regular conversion what if it is a uh, non-convertible na shares uh, sorry non-convertible na bonds eh so, what would be the entry? Okay. Now, uh, compare ang duha. Close the bonds payable. Again, it's mandatory. Close the premium, same amount. And then, credit the ordinary shares. Still, it's 5 million. And then, we have to get the gain or loss. And also, the share premium. Okay. So, the gain or loss here. Uh, sorry. Um, ang loss. The, I lost raman ang i-recognize sa... Uh, Induced, okay, I, so, no, this is not an induced, eh? regular conversion, Ramanesia. So, what will be the um, 
gain or loss on settlement. So you have fair value of the liability is five million four hundred. Okay, this is the So based on this data. And then carrying amount of the bonds five five million two hundred forty eight thousand six hundred thirty four. So loss on settlement is one hundred fifty one thousand three hundred sixty six. Since this one this amount is greater, this is actually five million four hundred. Kung isam up versus five million, so ang balancing figure sa credit side would be the share premium equivalent to four hundred thousand. You have to take note that if the problem is silent, the bonds payable are assumed to be non-convertible. Okay, next we have the induced conversion. So, si induced conversion tong ah, uh, siya only loss, right? Ang I recognize, okay, but not gain, okay. So we have on January 1, 2020, Cebu Company okay, issued 1,200,000 8% convertible bonds due after 4 years. The bonds were sold for 1,123,910 and are converted into 10 peso par ordinary shares at a conversion price of 25 pesos share on december 31 2021 cebu company in an effort to induce conversion of the bonds into ordinary share reduced the conversion price to 20 so from 25 the motion 20 to induce or to encourage the bondholders to exercise the option so this will be converted within 40 days so on this data fair value of the bonds is 1,500,000 and the bonds have a carrying amount of 1,158,332 all the bondholders accepted the offer on december 31 2021 on the date of conversion the fair value of cebu company's ordinary share is 28 per share so what will be the entry Okay, so monitong katong ganiha nga taas kayo og formula, katong face amount, so you have to get the fair value of the shares converted and the fair value of the shares under original conversion. So face amount of the debt securities converted, so this is the face amount. New conversion prices is the new conversion price and then multiply it by the fair value of the shares on the conversion date pila man niya hang fair value kani 28 so 1,680. compare that with the okay face amount of the debt securities converted but use the old conversion price 25 then multiplied by the fair value so it's 1,344 just get the difference Okay, so you will get 336,000. So close the bonds payable, 1,200,000. Again, debit debt conversion expense or loss on induced conversion, this amount. Then credit discount on bonds payable. So kinahangan din na siya i-close. Okay, so 1,200,000 minus the carrying amount. Okay. So, 1,158,000 that are carrying amount. So, the discount is 41,668. Credit ordinary shares. How do we get 60,000 times 10? So, the 60,000 here will be taken from the number of shares issued upon conversion. That's based on the 1,200,000 face amount divided by the new conversion price. So the shares that can be converted is 60,000 times 10. 10 is the par. Okay. So 600,000 and the balancing figure will be credited to share premium. 894,332. So you have to take note that cash is not debited equal to the conversion price 
because the market conversion price merely indicates the ratio of shares to be issued upon conversion of bonds. So, ego naman siya transform from bonds into shares of stocks. Okay. As a recap, so what will be the accounting treatment for the following? If you retire bonds, which are non-convertible bonds, gain or loss may be recognized on retirement of bonds prior to maturity. No gain or loss on retirement of bonds on the maturity date. Retirement price minus carrying amount is the uh, formula to get the gain or loss. If you're going to retire convertible bonds, okay, gain or loss may be recognized on retirement of bonds prior to maturity. Net increase or decrease in equity shall also be computed, but no gain or loss on retirement of bonds on the maturity date. If you convert the bonds, okay, the, the convertible bonds, no gain or loss on conversion of convertible bonds unless under induced conversion. So for the conversion of non-convertible bonds because of equity swap, gain or loss on conversion may be recognized. Um, you have your fair value of equity instrument or if not reliably determinable, fair value of liability minus the carrying amount. So that will be equal to the loss or gain on the conversion. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!